In this video, I'm going to show you how we can use the AutoCAD plans that are imported already to start to build up the walls and all other all other parts subsequently. Okay, we'll just do an example here on the walls. So let's start up with once we have all these walls included, what we can do is we will go to now create shapes and we will choose splines and start with line. I will activate the 3D snap toggle and make sure we are selecting let's say endpoints only. With this we can quickly draw or trace out the shape of the wall. Inner or outer, it really doesn't matter because we will work on it later on. So we will choose to close the spline. Once this is done, we can then go to modify and expand to go into the sub-selection modes. So we will choose the vertex sub-selection and we will use the create line option to create the inner lines of the wall. So we can zoom in and look for the plaster line two, three, four, and then close it up. So when we have completed the command, we will right click to finish it. After this part is done, We can use the, the extrude modifier here by clicking in E and extrude. So we're going to extrude this to 3 meters this way. So the wall is created. I will change this to wireframe display mode. Next, we're going to create the tall and the window openings. So we will go to create, this time go to geometry and look for standard primitives and use a box. So leaving our snaps on, we can first create the, the base of the door opening here and raise this up. And then after this is created, we can click on modify to change the total wall, the total door height to 2200 here, this way. Alright, and we're going to use a thicker, we're going to make this part thicker so that we can ensure that it will cut nicely this way. Next, we will move on to creating the window opening here. So we go back to create again, geometry, standard primitives, box. And then, snap to the window opening on plan, and then raise it up. And then we can go to modify now and change it. So we're going to use the height of 1 meter for the window opening. Alright, but except in this case, the window cannot be on the floor. So we have to raise it up by z axis of 1 meter to form the seal height. So what we can do is we can right click on the move transform type in and key in offset world at z axis 1000 this way. Again, we can increase the thickness of the width to make it thicker so that it makes it cleaner when we are going to do a subtraction later on. Okay, so let me just turn it on to the shaded display mode with edges so we can see it clearly. Now with this, we are going to we can turn off the snap now. We're going to select 
the wall geometry, go to create, go to geometry, and then we go to compound objects and pro boolean. Then we got to make sure we are selecting subtraction before we start picking. We will click on start picking and we click on the door opening and the window opening as well. And with this, we will complete the creation of the walls. So we will right click to complete the command.